is up guys, welcome back to this channel, my name is Matthew Ramos and on this channel I am to entertain, inform and inspire using the topic of the discussion as always which is superheroes. So guys, with Avengers Endgame being so close to finally hitting theaters, in today's video I'm going to rank the all of the Avengers power levels as in Avengers Endgame, Thanos is going to be taking some heavy hitters and in today's video I'm going to be ranking the, the most powerful Avengers going into Avengers Endgame. So before I get into today's video, guys, remember to stay to the end of the video for giveaway details. I'm going to be giving away this Avengers Endgame art canvas. Now, without further ado, let's rank the most powerful Avengers going into Avengers Endgame. So guys, I'm only going to be ranking the people who survived the snap because these are going to be the primary heroes that are going to face off against Thanos. So coming in at number 11, we have someone who's expected to be at the bottom, and this is Black Widow. Black Widow, you know, she's been a joke in this these movies when it comes to the big fight scenes. You know, in the first Avengers, we have that circle round shot. Everyone's like assembling, you know, Cap is fixing a shield. Hulk is like flexing. Thor is like wielding lightning. And then she's like reloading pistols in the middle of the Battle of New York. And then in Infinity War, when all of the Avengers were running at Thanos in Wakanda, She's running at him with a taser. So she's been a joke when it comes to, you know, big fight scenes against insanely overpowered villains. And, you know, she nothing has changed for Black Widow. Like, what is she going to learn? New karate moves? <laughs> so Black Widow is definitely going to be at the bottom when it comes to the most powerful Avengers going into Endgame. Next, we have someone who's similar to Black Widow, but I got Hawkeye. Because in this movie, he's not only is he Hawkeye, but he's also Ronin. And I'm sure he's learned a couple a couple of moves that he added to his skill set. And at the end of the day, he is a marksman. He can, you know, shoot an arrow from anywhere and it'll land wherever he wants it to land. So he is definitely more, I would say, more powerful than Black Widow, but not as powerful as anyone else on this list. Next, we got Nebula. The daughter of Thanos, who Thanos literally trained. Nebula, you know, she's very underrated when it comes to combat skills because she's just not as powerful as everyone else. But that still doesn't mean that she isn't powerful herself. She is a deadly assassin and is a pretty solid hand-to-hand -hand combat, you know, overpowered character. Next, coming in at number eight, we have the man himself. Even though he's not a man, we got Rocket Raccoon coming in at number eight. So we all know Rocket is a tech junkie. And now in this film, he's going to meet Tony Stark. And I feel I, um, myself and our superhero community, we, I think we all can agree when we say that these two are like a match made in heaven. We just cannot wait to see Rocket and Tony collab and, you know, share their love for technology and inventing new creations. We can't wait to see them share that love on screen and create some badass weapons not only for themselves, but for the rest of the Avengers. And in Avengers Endgame, Rocket, we see Rocket has his new comic accurate suit and that he is going to be carrying some heavy, heavy weapons going into the battle against Thanos or against whoever Rocket is going to be facing in Avengers Endgame. Coming in at number seven is someone who I wanted to put higher on the list, but I just couldn't. And this is Captain America, the number one hand-to-hand -hand combatant ever in the MCU, but he's still not as powerful as everyone else above him. Cause at the end of the day, all he can do is fight hand to hand and he can throw his shield all he wants, but you cannot put him to fight against someone like Captain Marvel, Thor, Hulk, Iron Man. Like that just cannot work. All of these characters are so much more powerful than Captain America, unless Captain America is able to wield Thor's hammer. Then, if Captain America wields Thor's hammer, then later on in this video, I will be adjusting the list for different scenarios for different heroes. But as of right now, we don't know if he's gonna wield Thor's hammer. And if he doesn't, then Captain America is staying on number seven on this list. Coming in at number six is Ant-Man. Ant-Man is someone who has been getting memed all over the internet of, you know, he should just shrink go inside Thanos' booty and just, you know, turn into a giant man while being inside Thanos. 
<laughs> and he's been get someone who's getting really memed right now in the superhero fan community. And Ant Man is gonna, we know he's definitely gonna play a key role in Avengers Endgame. And he's definitely one of the more powerful characters as he can either shrink to a subatomic level or he can expand himself into freaking Giant Man. Coming in at number five is someone who's absolutely gonna go to work in this movie. And this is War Machine. Guys, War Machine, just from all the Avengers Endgame, you know, footage that we've gotten of War Machine, he looks so incredibly badass. And just check out War Machine in this Avengers Endgame Chinese poster. Look at that freaking cannon on his shoulder. There have also been several leaks of him possibly getting a Warbuster armor in Avengers Endgame. And that'll absolutely be insane. But it'll be something that he's gonna need in order to, you know, contri significantly contribute to the fight against Thanos. And War Machine actually did, he went to work in Infinity War. I mean, he was just knocking out the Outriders, closing that gate of Wakanda and he was going to work in an Infinity War and I feel like in an Avengers Endgame, he's gonna do even more damage. Coming in at number four is someone who should be at number one, but it's at number four because the way Marvel has portrayed this character. And this is the Hulk, the Incredible Hulk, yes. Coming in at number four, isn't he supposed to be the strongest? Yeah, he should be, but that's not the way Marvel has portrayed him. And lately, Hulk has been getting his ass kicked around by everyone, Thanos, Thor, he got his ass kicked by Iron Man in Age of Ultron. And unless we see him go World Breaker, which is another scenario where we can see Hulk bumped up on this list, then I don't think he's as powerful as Iron Man, Thor, Captain Marvel, or just any of those heroes. All of those heroes, two of those heroes have actually whipped his ass. And we do know that Captain Marvel is the most powerful character in the entire MCU. So she would definitely Put him to bed easy. Coming in at number three is the man who started it all, Tony Stark, Iron Man. He's the third most powerful Avenger going into Avengers Endgame because we saw an Avengers Infinity War just from that bleeding ed edge armor. We saw how much damage he did to Thanos. You know, out of everyone in the entire movie besides Thor at the end, he did the most work against Thanos. And that's why Thanos you know, almost came close to almost killing Tony Stark in Avengers Infinity War. But I feel like in Avengers Endgame, he's definitely gonna um, armor up and get a way bigger and better armor within the Mark 85, which is a more comic accurate look for Tony Stark. And this armor is just gonna go to work. It's gonna be the, we're gonna see the most powerful version of Tony Stark we've ever seen. And this is gonna be something that is necessary in order for Tony to level up his you know combat skills against Thanos. Coming in at number two is the man that made us cry tears of joy in Avengers Infinity War and this is Thor. Guys after Thor Ragnarok we saw Thor's true power fully unleashed and that power of course carried on over to Avengers Infinity War and we saw you know Thor throw Stormbreaker and it, it Stormbreaker literally plowed through a power beam that was powered by an entire fully assembled infinity gauntlet. And then that just shows how, how powerful Thor really is. And going into Avengers Endgame, he is gonna be, he's definitely gonna be one of the heavy hitters that's ready to avenge the dead and ready to get revenge on Thanos for everything that, you know, he took from Thor. He took he took Heimdall, which is Thor's best friend. He took that from Thor. And that can't be, you know, reversed from the snap. He took Loki, his brother, who deep down inside Thor really loved. And that those two people are some are people who can't come back from the snap because they didn't die from the snap. And those were probably the two most important people in Thor's life, and Thanos took them from him. So best believe that in Avengers Endgame, he's gonna be, you know mad and ready to get back at Thanos. And coming in at number one is the most powerful character within the entire MCU. And this is Captain Marvel. Guys, Kevin Feige, who is the president of Marvel Studios, has stated in the past that she is by far the most powerful. She has the power to move planets 
and that she's going to be the lead character going into the future of the MCU with the departure of the OG Avengers in Avengers Endgame. Captain Marvel is incredibly powerful. I mean, her, her origin is literally, she got her powers from an Infinity Stone, the Tesseract, also known as the Space Stone. So she has the powers of an entirety, an entire Infinity Stone, you know, embedded within her entire DNA. And in her solo film, Captain Marvel, we truly saw how powerful she was. And now with having a massive time jump from 1995 over to 2019, best believe that Captain Marvel is more ex and a more experienced fighter. And she know she really knows she's at her full potential right now. And she knows that she's going to have to use her full power in order to have a chance of being able to defeat Thanos and reverse the snap. So now here's a plot twist. So if these events that are rumored to happen in Avengers Endgame, us as fans, we want these two events to happen in Avengers Endgame. And if they do, then this whole list can be altered. But for the first event, if we see World Breaker Hulk, the true Hulk from the comics, the real strongest Avenger in this film, which I think we're gonna see because they've been saving Hulk for this movie. And I don't think they're gonna hold back with Hulk's true power. And we're gonna see Hulk at his true potential in this film. And if we get World Breaker Hulk in this movie, then he is by far stronger than, I'm sorry, with, I don't care what Kevin Feige says, but Hulk is stronger than Captain Marvel. And Hulk is gonna take the number one spot on this list if that were to happen in Avengers Endgame. The next event is something that we all wanna see as fans and something that I hope happens if he truly meets his end in this film. And this is Captain America wielding Mjolnir, also known as Thor's hammer. You know, back in 2015 in Avengers Age of Ultron, we got that little tease of Cap almost being able to lift Thor's hammer. And this would just be such a big payoff for that this character and his whole entire arc in this movie. You know, he's by far the most likely to die in this movie. And if he's gonna die, he's I think he's worthy to have the most badass moment of this movie and that is when he's when he's able to lift Mjolnir and you know bash Thanos with it or something but what I would do to see Captain America wield it and then his eyes bl glowing blue with electricity surging throughout his body I mean us as fans we would cry tears of joy that that would be just way better than Thor arriving in Wakanda so if Captain America who's likely to die in this movie, were to wield Mjolnir, he would come in, I would say, at number two on this list. So guys, now I'm kicking it back to you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below, who do you guys think would be the most powerful Avenger in Avengers Endgame? Captain Marvel, Thor, World Breaker Hulk, or uh, Thor hammer lifting Captain America, or an Iron Man, throw him in there. So out of those five characters or events, who do you think would be the most powerful character in Avengers Endgame? Let me know in the comment section down below. Now getting into giveaway details. Guys, I'm giving away this Avengers Endgame art canvas. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is like this video, comment down below, and subscribe for an entry for a chance to winning this Avengers Endgame art canvas. So there you guys have it. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys next time.